Today we are going to talk about building a simple house of quality for your project for operation management. You will notice that I've color coded certain things here on the template that I've provided for you for your project and your product and service selection. First thing that you would want to notice is it contains your customer wants and the design requirements. Customer wants are going to be located here going down the left hand side. Design requirements will go across the top. Customer requirements are going to be the wants of what the customers are looking for. So, customers are looking for safety, customer wait time, value, potentially less defects, and let's say cost. You will fill these out accordingly based on your product or service that you have selected for your project. The next thing that you want to look at is the customer rating. This is located here in red. This is going to be on a scale of 1 to 5, 5 being the highest, 1 being the lowest. 5 here, safety, is obviously a customer important requirement of a level 5. Customer wait time 5, value, cycle time, defects, and costs. You will fill this out either based on your preferences as a customer, your research, or any other findings that you have for your company. Next, you will look at the customer ratings and you will just put in the additional customer ratings 5, 5, 2, 3, 5, and 4 based off the customer preference. You can rate them with your competitors, Toyota, McDonald's, or other competitors that you may have for your particular product or service. For the design requirements, I gave an example of both an airbag, which would be a product for, let's say, an automobile industry, concerning customer safety. Customer safety being five for us for, a point, for importance, and an airbag requirement where the company meets a nine. You will notice at the top I have the level of importance that the customer uh, requirements are being met by the company. 9 being the highest, 3 being in the medium range, and 1 being the lowest. And of course, you will want to follow suit uh, in a scale of 9 to 1. And you will do that for each one of the service requirements or design requirements. Airbag, customer wait time for, let's say, an example for a Starbucks, a service industry. Uh, wait time would be high importance. So maybe additional service stations should be a design requirement. Right now, we are meeting that as a level one. We find that as a low importance. However, our customer wait time, they say that it's a very high importance. How are our competitors meeting that? And that's what you will stick over here for customer rating. McDonald's is listed as a five, as well as us. How are they meeting those particular ratings? And this will give you a good comparison for your competitors. On the bottom, you'll see that there are targets and absolute importance. Targets are going to be set by the design team of the company. So I've already filled these in for 50%, 50%, 100, 10, or 50. These will be based on the company standards. Again, these will either be guesstimated by you which will be included in either customer preference or in your research and your findings for your product or service from your company. Once you've completed those, you'll notice that your absolute importance will be filled out accordingly. Now, an easy way that you can determine if these values are correct on the bottom of the screen the 45, the 5, the 14, 26, or 8, is you multiply each customer rating by each design requirement. Whether you have multiple in the design requirement will, determine, will be determined by your customer requirements. 9 times 5, 45. 5 times 1 is 5. So these important levels, as you can see here, are giving you good determining factors 
against the level of percentage of expectations from the organization. Based on these percentages and based on these absolute importance, you can see what design factors would potentially the organization should focus on in order to improve quality of the product or service.